So the next thing here we're going to be talking about is content distribution networks. And this right here is an example. Um, I'm sure you've seen a lot of um, uh, things like this on websites. This is directly from CNN.com. Uh, you can see right here, uh, you know, early signs of hepatitis C. Why do so many Americans love this game? Picks, man thinks he sees a huge beaver, yada, yada, yada. And the reason you see things like this, and this is near the bottom of uh, CNN.com, the reason you see uh, things like this on um, on websites is because they work. And the reason they work is because they don't look like ads. So people are more likely to click on things if they don't look like an ad. These look like content, okay? Um, and they are content, um, but they are, uh, people are paying uh, to be uh, featured here and uh, we'll discuss it further in a moment. And so the reason these are, uh, they really work here, these content distribution networks, um, is they're a great source of traffic that you can typically get at a lower cost than you would um, other media sources. You know, you can get them as low as, you know, 25 cents, 35 cents uh, per click, which is uh, really cheap when you compare it to the prices that you're going to be paying for, you know, Google AdWords or Facebook ads. Um, so you can definitely get um, a bargain uh, with these content distribution networks. Um, there's also an added uh, benefit here is you can get organic um, visitors and traffic to your website because these, uh, if you have good content, and that is, that's the key here is you have to have good content that people are going to want to share um, with other people. Um, if you do that and you do good content and people are sharing your content, it's going to help your SEO ranking, okay? Um, now, this is something we're going to get into later on in the course. I'm going to dive into SEO. But for now, just know that, you know, these content uh, distribution networks and, and advertising with them uh, can help boost your uh, SEO ranking, which is going to give you organic traffic. Um, and again, just to reiterate, you want to promote um, your best content, okay? Because then you're going to have uh, people, people are going to actually want to read it um, and it's going to lead to your uh, product or service in a better way and people are going to want to share it more. So if, it, if the content is, is good, uh, then people are going to want to read it and share it and then buy your product. Um, the next thing here that you want to focus on is that your titles are very critical for a good uh, click-through rate and engagement with your uh, article. So you're paying per click, all right? So you don't just want anybody and everybody clicking on your ad. So you want to keep your titles um, and your headlines um, for these uh, content ads to be relevant to your product or service or whatever um, you're wanting them to read on your uh, uh, content that you're leading them to because the worst is that when you click on an ad and it says you know make a million dollars by click clicking on this ad and it's uh, totally unrelated it's uh, you got to fill out all this stuff and it's you're not even able to win a million dollars um, you really want to keep it relevant so that people know what they're getting into because uh, people get pissed off when they click on an ad and the uh, the content that they're clicking on is not what they expected, um, then they're going to leave. They're going to bounce and they're going to leave your site and you're going to be paying for that click and you're going to be losing money. So uh, a list of the best content distribution networks um, are right here. The first two are the best. Uh, Taboola and Outbrain are definitely the best um, and I prefer them, but there's two other ones uh, that are also uh, pretty decent as well. Uh, Zamanta and Gravity, and you can use those um, to uh, find uh, content distribution uh, networks for your product or service.